Hi there, Todd Falcone. Welcome back to my office. Another blog post today. This one is on the subject of three-way calling, a very, very critically important thing that you should be doing uh, in your network marketing business. And if you are prospecting and out in the field yet not converting prospects into distributors and you're not doing three-way calling, that might be a clue as to why you're not closing the kind of business that you should be closing. So this is part one of two of two videos I'm going to do on three-way calling and I'm going to talk about the how to set up a three-way call and then the technical side of doing a three-way call and today it's going to be talking about how to do a three-way call the technical side of it on a landline telephone and then part two which will be in another video will be how to do it on a cell phone which is a little bit different so first of all here's the deal a uh, general three-way call when you're talking to a prospect you're on the phone with somebody of an interested party who's taking a look at your business has a, has a serious interest this is an ideal time uh, for you to bring in an expert and upline leader onto the telephone to assist you and and you know getting that prospect converted into a distributor or a customer and the way it typically works is this I'm on the phone with the prospect prospect is interested I will just say to the prospect hey Joe can you hang on for a second I will not ask the prospect, hey, listen, can you hang on for a quick second so I can get my sponsor on the phone so he can close you since I can't? No, none of that. What I'm going to do is just say, hey, Joe, hold on for a second, okay? And everybody's heard hold on for a second at least a thousand times in their lives, so they're, they're just going to hold. That's what they do when you say, hey, dude, hold on for a second. And all I do is I press the flash button on the phone. I'm already on the phone with the prospect. There's a little flash button on here, and that's going to give me another dial tone. Obviously, you need to have three-way calling set up on your telephone, so call your local phone company if you don't have it set up and get it set up. That's critically important. You've got to have it. So I'm already on the phone with the prospect, okay? And I just say, Joe, hang on a second. I, I press the flash button. It gives me a dial tone. I then dial the pro my sponsor's phone number and then it rings. Oh, okay, so this is what happens. It's ringing, meaning we're not yet connected on the phone. In other words, me and the prospect are disconnected for a second while I'm having a quick side chat with my sponsor, and I just say, hey, listen, Andy, this is Todd. You got a quick second? Yeah, I do. Andy, listen, I'm on the phone with Joe. Um, Joe's a, a former mortgage broker. He's a successful guy. He's taking a look at the business. Do you have a couple minutes to talk to him? And Andy's going to say, sure. And then I press the flash button again. Now it brings the, all of the parties together, and I say, Joe, are you back with me? And Joe says, yeah, I'm here. I say, Joe, listen. I wanted to introduce you to somebody real quick. He's a very successful business partner of mine. He's one of the top trainers in our business. He's a very, very successful entrepreneur and also somebody that you'd also be working with. I wanted to get you guys introduced. Andy meet Joe, Joe meet Andy, and then I whee, zip up my lips and I say nothing. And I listen and use my ears, both of my ears. I pay attention to what Andy's saying to my prospect, Joe. That's a learning experience for you. Very, very pow powerful learning experience, by the way. I don't interrupt. Say, Andy, don't forget to tell him about the compensation plan. Oh, Andy, don't tell him. No, I just wait because my, my upline leader is an expert. That person knows what to do. And, and he's going to interact with the prospect. By the way, if you notice the way I introduced Andy, I didn't say, hey, uh, Joe, meet Andy. I did what's called upline edification. I basically built Andy up, built some respect up. So this person's going, hey, I'm on the phone with a, with a leader, a successful person. And I'm just going to essentially say a few points that are true. Truth is very important. A few points about my, my upline leader, my, my expert that I'm bringing on the line. And I, and I do the introduction. At the end of that, when my, when my upline is done, he's going to let me know. Say, Todd, are you still here? Yeah, I'm right here. And at that point, chances are that if you're working with somebody who's really good, they probably helped you get that much closer to a close. So I'm going to let Andy go. Boom. And I'll press the flash button again. That will then disconnect Andy and I'm back with the prospect. I'm going to say, Joe, are you back with me? Great. Well, super. I mean, let's get you started at that point is essentially probably what's going to happen if my upline sponsor does it properly. So the technical side is pretty simple. You're on the phone with a person. You press the flash button. It's going to give you a dial tone. You then dial their number. It's going to ring. This means that you're, you haven't flashed back yet. It's going to ring. Your sponsor answers the phone. Good afternoon. Hey, Andy, this is Todd. You have, we have a quick second. Yeah, I do. Listen, I'm on the phone with this prospect. Give us some quick information. This will take less than 30 seconds. Quick information about the prospect. And then I press the flash button again. We're all together. I do the introduction. Say, Andy, listen, I wanted, or Joe, I want to introduce you to a really successful business partner of mine. Andy, very successful, blah, blah, blah. A little bit of edification. And then I just pass the call over and I go whoosh, zip up my lips. That's how a three-way call is done. That's how you do it. You don't ask for permission. You just do it. You don't say, hey, uh, can I... Uh, you, you mind if I put my sponsor on the phone? No, they don't even know what the term sponsor is probably, so why even bother using the term? Just say, look, I've got a business expert. I'm going to, you know, look, do not ask for permission to do a three-way call ever. It's not up to the prospect to decide. You maintain 
control of the conversation. That's how, it, and by the way, you can also do it on a phone like this. Like this is my old Radio Shack landline phone. Well, I can pick up the phone just like this, be on the phone with the prospect, and I can just depress. Let me get this camera thing here. Whoa, now I'm a little confused. There we go. I can just press this button right here and go like that, and it'll give me a dial tone. It's the same thing as. Same, same thing as a flash, flash button. Most phones have a flash button, like this one does right here. It's actually just the green button. And if you can read it right there, I don't know if you can, it says flash right there. See that flash, flash. That means you could flash over. All right, this is Todd Falcone. That's part one of a two-part series on how to do a three-way call. I'm going to cover some other aspects of three-way calling in addition to showing you the technical aspects of doing a three-way call with a cell phone on another blog post. We'll see you. Have a great day.